My name is Bettina von Stamm. I am the founder of the Innovation Leadership Forum, an organization that I have set up to enable organizations to improve their innovation performance and to help them understand what it actually means to innovate. One of the aspects that is essential to create innovative organizations is leadership. So I'm particularly passionate about communicating about leadership for innovation and the role of leadership in innovation, which is what I have the pleasure of doing here at um, CEDEM. Why do I think that leadership is so critical to creating innovative organizations? The main reason is that we might listen to the words that people tell us and we think, yeah, yeah, that's quite all right. But then we observe what the people who tell us, for example, about the importance of innovation, we observe what they actually do. And when we find that they talk about innovation and they ask us to innovate, but they are highly risk averse themselves, they are not good collaborators, they don't have time for communication about non-work related things, if they are <clears throat> doing all these things, I think, well, yes, I can hear you are talking about innovation, but you're not really serious about it. Because if you were serious about it, you would be behaving in a way that encourages and supports and demonstrates innovation yourself. And I think that's one of the biggest problems, in particularly in large organizations. The leaders use the right words, but certainly do not use the right actions. The opposite of leadership is called implementation. I don't, I don't think so. Um, for me, first, first of all, for me, innovation, maybe it's also important, what do I mean by innovation? Because a lot of people have different expectations, um, different things about they think innovation is or that innovation is for them. Um, for me, innovation is about the creation of value. And I think in a lot of organizations, innovation has become an end in itself. So they say, we need to be more innovative, and no one asks the question, why do we need to be more innovative? So I think it's critical that innovation creates some kind of value, whereby I'm not saying that it is exclusively monetary value, but it can be new knowledge, it can be brand value, it can be reputation, it can be social value, so there are all kinds of different values um, that can be created through innovation. So I think that's, that's, that's one thing. And innovation is also not only the idea, but critically innovation is a great idea being implemented, being made real to create value. And um, again, I think that's a problem in many organizations that the, that the organizations focus on the creation of great ideas, but then nothing ever happens with it. Because it's the moment where you take an idea and make it happen, that change is required. And that you need to take risks and embrace uncertainty. And so if leadership only talks about innovation, they might be good at encouraging ideas. But unless they are then also making sure that these ideas, and it's their responsibility that these ideas are being taken forward, that the resources are being made available, um, that, the, that the right people are being made available to, to implement this idea, to do something with this idea, then they will never have innovation. They will have great ideas, but no innovation. I'm not quite sure whether the leader is the one who should make all these decisions, but yes, I agree those are the three things that an idea should be evaluated against. Whether it's desirable, i.e. whether there will be people out there very keen to embrace it, whether it's a product or a service, um, whether it is possible to actually um, manufacture, create the service, whatever it might be, um, <clears throat> and whether it is actually also um, profitable. They should be aware of it. I'm not sure whether the leaders are always the best person to make that, that decision. Um, especially when they are leaders whose personal preference might be not in embracing uncertainty and um, embracing risk and all these things. If their personal preference is for efficiency and cost savings, which are very valuable and important assets in an organization, they are probably not the right people to make a positive decision about any innovation, any, certainly not any radical innovation. So I think it is, it is um, they need to understand innovation, they need to create the conditions in which innovation can, can thrive, which means having time to experiment, which means um, having time to, to observe, um, to uh, have exchanges, encounters with users which is um, to provide a direction, for example, also for innovation. 
just to say we want innovation and leaving it at that leads to everyone running off in a different direction without any, any focus, uh, which can't be the aim of innovation either. So they need to provide the condition, framework, direction, and then ideally they should show an interest, an active interest in the innovation projects, but they might not be the ones who actually necessarily have to make the decision. They have to support the decisions, but they might not be the ones, or maybe not at least, if they've got a risk-averse profile, then they might not be the, the best people to, to make a positive decision around innovation. I think it's probably um, a great deal of openness, openness to possibility, openness to try things that seem a little bit crazy or impossible. Um, so that's, that's openness. It is also understanding people. Understanding people in as much as innovation requires generally a, a diverse team. So you need lots of different people. And so understanding who the different people are that make a successful innovation team um, how to combine the strength and how to enable them to work together, for example, is really important. So it is um, being open, understanding people. And I think another, another thing that's really important is having vision. So rather than just saying we want to innovate, is we want to innovate to achieve X. And painting a picture of where they want to go that people can get excited about and want to be part of. And so, so that in, in itself can trigger innovation. If you sort of create a picture of the future and people get really excited about it, they will find a way of getting there, which means they will start to innovate. Yes, and also, you know, that's another aspect of the openness, for example, is that the picture might change over time. So that means, you know, once you've got a vision, that's fantastic, but you need to check in occasionally whether the vision is still, um, what were the three, um, Vi viable, um, desirable, and what was the third one? Feasible. Feasible. Exactly, sort of to check in whether sort of that should be, still be the ambition um, or whether it might have to change a bit.